Hello friends, I'm Chi. Oh, greetings to you all, wherever you may be listening. Okay, now, the kind of things that are happening these days, I don't understand. Italy is really changing and if care is not taken, a lot of people will lose their sojourno. So please, if you're having asilo political, subsidiaria, casi speciale, Assistance minore, you know, depending on how you got them, whether through commission or through the court. So please pay attention to know what to do next if you are able. All right, all right, hold on. If you're here for the first time, why don't you subscribe? Because here you get informations like this. I'll keep it thrilled, inform, updated, transformed information is power. If you know, you know, and if you don't still know, you don't know. But with Chi, surely you will know. Please put the like. The one banana for Chi, the only thing Chi loves. Just do it to show me love, man. The one banana, put the like button for Chi, man. All right. To my other new subscribers, thank you very much. You guys always the reason why I'm still here, bringing it to you guys back to back, real time. All right. Share, share, share the video. Please don't be stingy with information. Share. All right. If you're here, also subscribe, okay? Okay. Now you're having a Zillow political subsidiary, Kazi Speciale. Whatever document you're having, please, what is happening these days? So long as you went to commission or you got it through the court, <laughs> pay good attention or questura. <laughs> Listen, you see, let's assume you got it through the commission or court. Yeah. Do you know what you have to do? If you are able to convert it to lavoro, huh? or you did autonomo, you can convert it to autonomo. Okay, now the reason is because these days people go to renew and they are being sent for another commission. That is what they are doing now. Most people, some regions have already started doing it. Like they are doing it. They send you to go for another commission. Whether you have a Zillow, Subsidiaria, Kazi Speciale. Unless your questura is so kind, let's say your region is so kind, they don't want to put you guys through that stress. You know, some regions are not even, they have gotten autonomy, like they are autonomous, like they are on their own. Those kind of regions, they decide what they want to do. But you see those regions that are still intact with the government, they carry these things out. So I don't want you to fall into that trap. So if you are working and you have any of these documents, like subsidiary, casi speciale, motivo familiare, so long as you got it through court or commission, please go and convert it. If you are working, convert it. Just to escape that commission thing. Listen, because what if you are no longer able to remember all the stories you told? You know, dates and time, months, when, year, names of people you mentioned. You can't remember the details anymore. Years have passed, you know. Not everyone is good in remembering things again, but I hope the government should also understand it that people have moved on. People cannot remember things that happened in the past. After all, they themselves, can they remember what happened like 10 years ago, 5 years ago? You can't remember them clearly. You can't be accurate anymore like before. Some of you don't even have your stories with you anymore. You threw away those papers. But if you still have your papers with you, they gave you a copy of your story. Or if you don't have it, go back to your camp and tell them you want a story copy of your story after all you gave it to them they have a copy but if you have your copy please keep rehearsing it keep memorizing it rehearsing it just in case you go to renew and they call you for commission they say oh no you're, you have to go for another commission yeah because you waited and waited and waited after paying all the money you just go and find out that Kwesra is asking you take this is the letter you have appointment so, so day to come and retell your story and when you don't tell your story accurately like before Man, anything can happen. In most cases, they tell the people it's over for them. Leave the country. You have 15 days to do so. 30 days, depending on which questora or commission did it. Now listen, that is not the end. You need a good lawyer. A very good lawyer. And I tell you, I have one for you if you need. When that time comes. And it's important you have good lawyer's numbers in your phone. Just in case. Huh? Just in case. So they will send you for that commission. If you fail and you don't get a good lawyer that will help you out to trash the matter out to appeal, then you are out of the game. You are out completely. Maybe you have to seek another asylum. That's another choice you have. Or maybe you have a child you can get through your child in the children's court. Tribunale minore. Through a good competent lawyer as well. 
okay so now you have in subsidiary casi speciale if you have a job convert it please if you are in autonomous convert it please if you have like you have done the autonomous thing you went to commercialista and processed it convert to autonomous permesso di soggiorno per il motivo di lavoro autonomo okay or subordinato all right then what about if you're having asilo political you see asilo political is the most authentic document most recognized all over the world they hardly hardly take it away from you but should in case should in case it happens you go to renew your asilo and they call you for commission questora tells you you have a date for another commission to know if your story is still real or maybe they do those things to find out if the conditions on which you told the story still remains you know the kind of stories you told so they are going to equally like investigate like they research in your country and find out that the government have changed things are now better human rights have been respected in that case they are likely to revoke your asylum terminate it and you can always appeal remember you will always have to appeal it so if you're not able to also remember your stories you are there blabbing i can't remember i don't know i can't remember man that is a negative for you and definitely no document for you but still there is hope get it through your child or your wife or your partner or husband who has a job you can only apply to get motivo di familiare through them through a good lawyer i always mention to you if you don't have one i will give you one for real okay so should you convert your asilo politico as well to lavoro subordinato or autonomo well you remember if you are working you have your three years could or you are married your partner is working has some coulds and you have some or you don't even have or your partner have worked for three four years you can always use your partner's could to apply for citizenship so long as the income is very high or even convert to carta soggiorno yes whether it's subsidiary case especially so long as your partner is working you guys are married in the comune you can always use that person's could to apply for carta soggiorno the zero zero Mm? lungo periodo okay use your partner's code to apply for these things if your partner is working and the income is good good salary okay so now you have asilo politico all you have to do is to apply for cittadinanza citizenship maybe by your own code maybe you have worked for 3 4 5 years and your partner has worked if you are married but if you are single fine go and apply for citizenship But if you're that scared that maybe going to renew they are going to send you for another commission then convert it to carta soggiorno which will still be 10 years until you have gotten all the requirements to apply for citizenship maybe you just have one year could two years could and you're scared you can convert it to carta soggiorno if your questora allows that because some questora does not convert asilo to carta soggiorno why some do it so is questora to questora differences like that so i'm just bringing you this update because that is what is happening now that's why they say people are losing their documents and other reasons too combined like you have subsidiary you have been traveling home directly you have been traveling anyhow back home whether it's once or two or three like there's every possibility that they will send you for commission because don't you know you told a story that your life is in danger and look at you you are traveling anyhow to your country you have traveled to two three four five times you think they don't know they made their research on it the territorial commission always research they check your traveling history all the information are in the euro deck the database where they store everybody's information so when you travel your bus ticket they know you know as you are checking us from the airport the immigration officers they have already programmed everything that you left on so 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 day and you arrived on so 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 day so don't think you can deceive them by the touch putting your codice fiscale they can extract every information about you how many accounts you have how you have traveled where and where so you can't deceive them and don't even dare think of lying to them if you know you have traveled before don't even think you can deceive them by telling them i've never traveled before because you are just complicating issues
And most times, they send you for another commission because you changed your region. I've always explained that. You, you, you got document in region A and then you move to another region. So the other Questora, your new Questora where you have arrived in the other region, cannot access your data. So they have to send you for another commission. So that that particular city, region, will not give you document. Since the other Questora have refused, your first Questora have refused to send your data to them, to open up the data so that they can access it and renew for you. So that's why when you are relocating to anywhere, go to your Questora, the one you got the documents from, Tell them that you are relocating to, you are now in this city and in this Questora. So you need them to transfer your information to that Questora. They will do it. They will give you even a letter, the document like that in an envelope to also give to the new Questora, stating that they have hand stuffed. They are no longer in charge of you. So that other new Questora where you are now in will take over the matter. Yes. Some good Questora. When you are in that new city where you have relocated to, they will communicate to the other Questora to open up the portal, your data section, so that they can access it. Ask them to transfer it to them so that they can make use of it to renew your document. Yes, they will do it. Why? That same new Questora where you have relocated to will tell you to go to your Questora, the one that issued the document to you, to tell them to open up the access, like transfer the information to them so that they can use that information to renew for you. Okay, so but if that your first question that gave you that document is so wicked, they will not do it. Do not even like respect the other question to transfer them, transfer to them the information. So in that case, the question your new question now where you have relocated to will, will wait and wait and wait. If no information is coming forth, they will send you for that commission because they can't keep you waiting. So that's what normally happens. That's why you see yourself you relocated to another city or region. If these things are not properly done, your information is not sent, the questioner did not even tell you, then they will send you for commission so that that same city now, after your commission, if you marry the same document or another document, they will give to you. So always know that one too. That one also contributes to the reason why they send you for another commission. Okay? So that is it. And now, because... They want to take away documents from people. If the country you came from, things are now better, things have improved, they are likely to tell you your country is now okay, come and go home. But let me tell you, no way. have to appeal it. You have to appeal it. So if you have a Zillow, do not rush into converting it. Okay? Because they hardly take away a Zillow from people. But if you feel you are that scared that your city, Questora, will send you for commission, hmm? It's not even the questioner that sent for commission. When you put for renewal, questioner sent your information to the commission, territorial commission, to decide if they should go ahead to renew for you. They should investigate you properly. And if everything is check, 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 everything is okay, the territorial commission will tell questioner to go ahead and do it. But if things are not okay, they have seen some errors, traveling history, marriage you did. Maybe you're an asylum person, you went to your embassy to get Nigerian passport or your country's passport or you got no last for marriage from your embassy as an asylum holder, which is not accepted. All this information are stored in the database, Eurodex. So the Territorial Commission can just access it and know that you went to your embassy and got Nula Osta as an asylum holder, which is not supposed to be. And as an asylum holder, you also got your country's passport. Remember, every passport your embassy issues to you, they send the information to the government immigration to the police to the questioner they send that information to them telling them this and this and this person look at their names we issue them passport that is a law they have to communicate to the government of italy or europe so that they will know who they have given passport to and who they have not given it to so if you're an asylum holder why should you hold your country's passport so if they find out you're likely to go for commission to ask to answer their questions okay so now in summary that is what is happening People go to renew and they send them for another commission. How prepared are you? If you are in camp, you have your stories, you have written down, please save them. Take a photo of it and save it somewhere nice. Just in case you are going to renew and you are scared. You get documents, you are going to renew and you are scared. You got to just bring it out and memorize it. Read it and understand everything you said to them. And also, you know, you got it through court. 
there's every in fact people that got their documents also through court whether asilo subsidiary case especially whichever document you got through the court it always happens that when they go to renew the commission will ask them to come for another interview because the commission were the ones who rejected you so they're like kind of angry like why would the court even agree to issue document to you so they want to know why they, what did you tell the court that made them to agree to give you document so if you impress them you prove yourself right then they leave you they ask questions to go ahead and renew so that's why most people who got their documents through court still find themselves going back for another commission they can never tell when is it in the first renewal or second renewal or third renewal but once you have converted to lavoro subordinato or autonomous then you are safe you are out of everything called all these asylum documents you are now like someone who came from you know anywhere to come and work in italy and got work permit lavoro subordinato is a work permit self-employed permit lavoro autonomous so you are just like them you are no longer bound to the laws of asylum, like those who got the asylum kind of documents. You are out of that mess, man. You are no longer part of them. So whatever that is happening doesn't concern you again because you have a work permit. You are now legit, legit. Okay? So that's why people just leave the asylum documents and just convert to lavoro subordinato and autonomous. Just to free themselves from all those commission, 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 interview, scared of whether they'll be deported. In this case, they can't be deported because they are having the work permit unless they have committed serious crime. They can travel home directly the way they want. Nothing will happen. Okay? So, guys, do the needful. If you are that scared, you have having subsidiary cases, especially, so long as any of those documents you go through the court or through commission. You are likely to be called for another commission. And you don't know. You can't tell if you are the one or this person or that person. But get prepared. Study your stories. If you have the papers, go and visit them again. Revisit it. Read everything to understand it. Memorize it. Just like you know yourself and your name and the name of your girlfriend or boyfriend. <laughs> That's how you know your story. Okay? Perfecting it. Time to time. Don't just be playing around because now this government is not laughing with anybody. They are not joking. The aim is to take away documents. So I, 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 will you just stay there and watch them take it away? Start rehearsing them, man. Start rehearsing. Especially if you have short time to go and renew. You never can tell. Well, all I'm saying is just get prepared, okay? If you don't have any work to convert to Lavoro Subordinato Autonomo, you don't have money to even do the Autonomo to pay the tax, then memorize your story. Perfect on your story. That's the only key. The only thing you have to defend yourself. Memorize your story very well. Since you don't have a job, you don't have a money to do Lavoro Autonomo or pay tax. Then memorize your story. That story will help you out. When you go there, you still tell them the same thing. And they will still believe you. Okay? That is it. So even you that has been traveling using the other way, you know what I mean? You don't go direct, you are going through the other way. And you have traveled so much, so many times. And you have not even converted your document and you have been traveling like crazy. Man, if they call you up, be prepared. Memorize your story. Okay? Memorize it very well so that you'll be able to defend yourself properly and still get back your document. Okay? So if you go through the court, you have over-traveled, you have changed region, those could be the reason why they will call you for another commission, an interview. Prepare. Prepare. So if you have asilo, don't be too much scared. But if you are scared, convert to Lavoro. Mm -hmm. Or don't know if you can. That is if your Questura even does it. If your city even allows it. But if you have your code and the rest, you can go for Carta Sojourner. If your Questura allows it. If your region allows it. But if you have your three years good, go for your citizenship. If they say the code is not enough and you are married, your partner is working, have some code, join it together and apply for it. Okay? All right. So long as both of you are living in the same house, having the same residence, it's possible always. Whether you have subsidiary or any other document. So long as you are married and you're having the same residence, you can always use your partner's code to convert to Carta Sojourner or also apply for citizenship combined with your own. But if you are single, then it means you have to fight for yourself alone. Get the three years code or one year code or two. Apply for either Carta Sojourner. If you don't have up to three years code, but if you have up to three years, then go for your citizenship. 
Remember, Azilo is five years of residence in Italy, and maybe your document will complete five years as well. But some region use only the residence of five years to apply it for you. And why some you start from the C3 form to apply for you, they start counting from then. Why some will say you have to qualify in every way, both document wise, residence wise, and C3 wise. Okay. So it depends on your city questora, the laws they want to use and give you the Qatar Sojourner or citizenship. All right. So if you want to try, go and try and see if your questora will give you the Qatar Sojourner or citizenship. You can apply for Qatar even if you're not up to, you know, five years. Maybe they'll use residence or C3 to do it for you. Go and find out from your questora. Don't just sit and do nothing. You have to move. You have to start thinking from this day. This the government is not laughing at all. Be serious, man. All right. I'm out of here, man. I'm Chi. Yours truly ever. <laughs> ever truly Chi. I'm out of here. Please share this video. Share this video to help a friend, to help a brother, a sister. Okay. Subscribe, press the bell, set it in the all, all notification for real time notification. If you're not getting it, please unsubscribe and subscribe again and set it in the all notification section. Press the bell. I'm out of here, man. I'm Chi Chao. Let's see in the comment section. Chao. One love.